I think we're there. Good morning, Facebook. How are we? Hope we are well. It's Monday morning. It's a um, dreary Monday morning here. Very dark and gloomy, but that's all good. That's not going to affect us and what we uh, are doing today. So I hope you're well. I hope all is good uh, wherever you are. If you're in lockdown, if you are working, you're doing as normal, whatever's going on, I hope you are all doing well. So what I want to talk about tonight, the title, or not even tonight, today, this morning, what I want to talk about today is a subject where I get a lot of questions and I get a lot of people talking about. We talk about this in our room as well. So the title for today is I should have got out or I should have stayed in the trade. So this is going to be a part, a two-parter. So the next one that I do is uh, going to be more about getting out of a trade. So I should have got out of a trade. So people who are still in a trade that think they should have got out. But today's is uh, more about the fact that I should have stayed in the trade. All right. Now, as I said, this is something that I hear a lot of. And I get a lot of people talking to me about this and saying, well, you know, Ali, I should have, I should have stayed in for longer. I got out too soon. And this is one that they are looking for a lot of help with. So this is going to be a subtle but important shift if you can get your head around this. Now, the first thing that I want you to realize is we're making a couple of assumptions with this video. The first assumption is that you are not breaking any rules. So you are sticking to a rule on that trade. But post trade, so after the trade has happened, you're sitting there and you are feeling as though you should have stayed in the trade. Now, there aren't many traders out there that at some point over a five, a 10 year, even 20 year trading period will look at a trade after they've got out, see the result. So being able to look at it with the benefit of hindsight, see the result and in that moment have a feeling as if they should have stayed in the trade. It's 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 natural to feel that and it's obviously dependent on what the trade is showing you. OK, so this is something that I felt and I know it's something we've discussed in our trading room. But the challenge is if this happens too often, something that happens once every 10 trades or once every 20 or 30 trades, if it starts happening two or three times every 10 trades, that you're constantly feeling like you got out of the wrong place or you should have stayed in the trade for longer. The challenge with that is that will start becoming more habitual and will become more the sort of message that you're telling yourself over and over again. So we are making that assumption you've stuck to your rules and you've got that feeling. But one of the things that um, happens is people will feel that and I and they'll say, why do I get that, Ali? Why do I get that feeling after the trade that I should have stayed in it? Well, it's fairly obvious. Your brain is seeing the result. So let's say you sat in a trade, you stuck it out, you stuck it out, you stuck it out. Price has got close to your target. It's pulled back. It's come back up and it's hit your target. And as soon as it hits your target, very often, especially new traders, they'll feel a sense of relief because the trade has done what they wanted it to do, number one. And secondly, they they feel that relief that they've, they've, they've stuck it out. They've got the result. But then if that trade was to turn and fall away and go exactly in the opposite direction at the point they got out, the chances are they're not going to feel as if they got out at the wrong place because they're going to see the result. They're going to see price move away and think, right, oh, OK, I've done the right thing. The challenge comes is if price goes further up or if it's a short trade, obviously further down and pushes past the level that they got out at. So why does this happen? Why do people look at the trade two or three days, four days later and say to themselves, oh, I should have stayed in it? Well, the number one reason is they've got a visual stimulus to tell them that, i.e. the trade has gone further on. Very often it is related to how far it's gone on. So let's say they had a trade that was a two for one target. They sit in that trade, trade hits their target, and then they look four days later and it's up at an equivalent of a seven to one. The extreme nature of that additional move is more likely to influence them. If the trade had only gone up literally about from a two to one up to a two and a half or a three to one, they're less likely to feel as though they've made the wrong decision. So the severity of the follow on move after they get out can impact it. But the most important one, and I think the reason why traders struggle with this, is a lot of traders will be setting their target on a trade by trade basis. So they will look at that trade and make a decision that they're going to get out at a moving average, a previous level of support or resistance. And the trouble is, is they're using something technical to do that. But the challenge is that that particular 
reason isn't something they know that is valid over the long term. So there's no real plan, no real structure. They just say, right, I'm going to get out at this point, and then they get out. And because there's no, as I said, no structure to it, the challenge is, is then the follow-on move will impact them from a hindsight bias point of view. Now, you might say, well, what if I've got a plan? What if I use a similar risk to reward on every trade? So, for example, on one of our strategies that, that I run and a lot of our members run, we use a fixed three to one target. So what if you've got a fixed three to one target, a fixed two to one target or a specific target you use on a regular basis? So if it was a pullback, you're looking at previous high or previous low. Well, the challenge there, and this is where it gets more subtle, is very often people who are using either a fixed target or a consistent target every time, what they don't have is they don't have a decent data sample to tell them that over 50 trades, 100 trades, 200 trades, that getting out at that point over time is the optimal place to do it. So for example, if I refer back to that strategy that I was talking about, if we're looking at an IR240, I know that some IR240s will run on, they'll hit my target of three to one, and they'll run on for 15 or 20 to one. Now, when I look at that, there's still a tiny bit of me that's like, oh, yeah, look at what it did but I'm not affected to the point where I will start shifting what I do because this is where the challenge is. If you don't have a decent data sample, what will happen is, let's say you get out at a three to one, you're over the moon about that at the time, but that trade runs on for a seven to one, the risk is on the next trade, you then shift and go, I should be going for a three to, uh, should be going for a seven to one and not going for a three to one. So that's the challenge. If you don't have a decent enough data sample, like on that strategy, I know that once you start getting past about a 3.2 to one, over the long haul, I'm gonna be worse off, even if I managed to capture one trade that did a 10 to one or even a 12 to one. So for me, I know that I'm working in the optimum range for that strategy and I'm continuing to build up data. And as a result of building up that data, I will then know if that optimum range shifts over time. But at this present point, I know that even if that trade runs on, I'm still getting the appropriate, I'm still working in the optimum range. And that makes it a lot easier if you get out a three to one and then you look four days later and that trade has done a six or seven to one. But what you have to do, and this is something I teach all my traders in the room to do, is you should be logging that maximum exit. And that maximum exit becomes a data point rather than something that you sit there going, ah, oh, should have stayed in, that whole shoulda, coulda, woulda mindset. So if you start looking at it and accruing the data, and one of our other trainers, Martin, he always says, every trade is just more data. And it's a really important mindset to live by. So if you see every trade is more data and you keep recording the maximum exit on the trade, regardless of where you got out, then over time, you can shift that optimum range. So for me, if I get out of three to one on that strategy and the trade does a seven to one, I'm okay about it because I know that I'm working in the optimum range and I'm not focusing on the result of one trade, I'm looking at the bigger picture. And then lastly, very subtle one, for what I say and specifically for day traders as well, is this is gonna happen if your trade frequency is higher. So let's say you're trading three or four trades a day, you're gonna have more scenarios where the trades will potentially run on past your predetermined target. So in those scenarios, energy and perception are very important. I am way more likely to feel um, slightly downhearted or annoyed or feel that feeling of, oh, I should have stayed in the trade if my energy is not on point. So as a trader, focusing on your mindset, focusing on your energy and focusing on your data, those three areas are gonna make it much easier for you because the reality is there is no trader out there that gets 100% of the move 100% of the time. So it's very, very important that you've got the data, the energy, the perspective and the mindset around that to give yourself that, that freedom for not looking at trades with hindsight bias and thinking, I should have stayed in. So that's part one. In part two, what we're gonna look at is those of you that are rule breakers and get out of your trades ahead of your target so you're actually breaking your rules. What things can you do to help you not do that? So until next time, safe trading and I'll catch up with you again soon.